So as we are going into this term, meaning to say we are considering our term three and we need to know the topics that we are going to work with in our mathematics. So in this case, I'm going to show you guys uh, what you're going to expect to have in this uh, term three. Uh, the first part that you're going to be working with is the part of the graphs, right? You are going to be working with the graphs that is uh, just expected in within week one, week two, uh, and so on. So you must be able to understand how to interpret, that is the interpreting of graphs, that is extend the focus on features of graphs with the special focus of the following features of linear graphs, that is to understand the x-intercept and the y-intercept and also how to calculate the gradient from there. Then we also need to consider the drawing of these graphs, drawing of the straight line using table of order pairs to plot points and also draw graphs on the Cartesian plan. So meaning to say you can use any method that you're given, then extend the drawing of graphs with a special focus on, that is the drawing linear graphs from given equations. Given an equation, you must be able to draw a linear graph. Determining equations from linear graphs. If you are given a linear graph, you must be able to determine its equation. All right, then the other part, uh, topic that you're going to work with is the geometry of straight lines. So you must be able to know how to operate with the angles. That is the relationships that is happening when given angles. Revise and write clear descriptions on the relationship between angles formed. It can be formed by perpendicular lines, intersecting lines, or it can be from parallel lines cut by a transversal. Uh, remember from your grade eight, you worked with the part of the parallel lines and the transversal line. Then solving problems that is solve geometric problems using relationship between pairs of angles described above, meaning to say from any of these, is it from the intersecting of lines, from the parallel lines, you must be able to solve problems, meaning to say it can be an equation that can be formulated from there. And also the last part of this term is to understand the geometry of 2D shapes and construction of geometric figures. So we need to work with the 2D shapes and also construction of the geometric figures. So classifying uh, 2D shapes that is revised, uh, properties and definitions of triangles in terms of their sides, angles, distinguishing between the types of triangles, which can be an equilateral, an isosceles, a right angle, triangle, any type that you're given. Then also you need to go through your constructions. Okay, you must be able to provide uh, learners with accurately constructed figures to investigate the properties of triangles. Then from there, you must also work with the part of the similar figures, investigate this part of the polygons, then work with the similar and concurrent triangles. You must know the difference between similar triangles and what you call uh, concurrent triangles, then also solving problems, solving geometric problems involving unknown sides. It can be unknown angles in a triangle, quadrilaterals using known properties of triangles and quadrilaterals, as well as properties of corporate and similar triangles. So using any of the properties, is it about the interior angles, the angles that you have in a triangle which add up to 180? Is it the angles that are in a quadrilateral which add up to 360 degrees? You must be able to solve problems relating to that. So this is our term three. Then you must be also prepared for your final uh, formal assessment task, which is going to be working with the test all term three topics. So make sure that you revise everything that you are doing in your term three, because that is going to be part of your test as you are given there. So let us revise as much as we can. Uh, we shall be able to work with our questions, uh, introductions, and also question papers so that we do revise for these tests, which are ahead of time.